Imagine zooming in on empty space with the most powerful microscope possible. To the human eye, space seems smooth and flat, like a calm pond. But clarity comes when we begin to transcend physical constraints of our minds. But according to theories in physics that combine quantum mechanics, which are the rules for tiny particles, and gravity, I want you to understand the scale of reality. When we get down to the incredibly small Planck scale, which is about 1 times 10 to the negative 35th meters, space isn't smooth anymore. These particles are way smaller than an atom or even a proton, which many of us were taught is the smallest particle. Instead, quantum fields are bubbling and fluctuating wildly, like the foam on top of a shaken soda, or ocean waves crashing in chaos. This is creation, or more appropriately, this is transition from one particle state to another. This is called quantum foam. It's caused by the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Energy can briefly borrow from the vacuum to create tiny virtual particles, matter and antimatter pairs, that pop in and out of existence super fast. These fluctuations make space-time itself wiggle, curve, and twist randomly at that tiny scale. We can't see it directly, it's just too small. But its effects show up in real experiments, like slight changes in electron magnetism, or how light behaves over huge distances. In some advanced medical technologies, like the idea of medbeds, Quantum principles are used to fix the body incredibly fast, even rebuilding damaged tissue in just minutes or hours. Here's a simple exploration of how quantum foam plays a role in triggering rapid tissue rebuilding by applying quantum physics to biology. Now let's talk about the vacuum or the void as a source of energy. Quantum foam means empty space is never truly empty. It's actually full of this fluctuating energy from virtual particles. With the right geometry, a med bed could tap into or amplify these zero-point energy fluctuations in the quantum foam. There's so much going on around us, guys, and when we begin to understand it, we affirm it in our consciousness. So let's take a look at this quantum foam. Think of it like harnessing the constant bubbling energy at the tiniest level to provide an unlimited, clean power source for healing processes. The vacuum as a source of energy. Quantum foam means empty space is never truly empty. It's actually full of this fluctuating energy from virtual particles. With the right geometrics, a med bed could tap into or amplify these zero-point energy fluctuations in the quantum foam. So think of it like harnessing the constant bubbling energy at the tiniest level to provide an unlimited, clean power source for healing processes. Influencing cells at the quantum level starts with understanding that your body's cells are made of atoms, and atoms follow quantum rules. Tissue rebuilding usually happens pretty slowly. Think of how a cut heals over several days, because cells have to divide, repair DNA, and grow new material using chemical energy. But the med bed creates a controlled field that interacts with the quantum foam around and inside your cells. By stabilizing or directing those random fluctuations, it could actually guide virtual particles to supply extra energy right to the damaged areas. This would boost cellular processes super fast, speeding up things like DNA repair, protein production, or even stem cell activation. And fluctuations in space-time might even help reorganize matter at the atomic level, encouraging atoms and molecules to rearrange into healthy tissue patterns, kind of like how quantum entanglement links particles instantly. The key trigger for fast rebuilding could be resonance or frequency matching. The med bed scans your body similar to an advanced MRI, and finds those disordered quantum states in injured tissue where all that foam-like randomness is causing issues. Then it emits super precise frequencies or fields. These fields calm chaotic foam fluctuations in unhealthy areas, 
while amplifying the helpful ones, essentially telling your cells to rebuild perfectly. For example, let's say you have a broken bone or a torn muscle. The enhanced quantum energy would flood the site, accelerating cell division and collagen production thousands of times faster. It's like giving your cells an infinite battery straight from the vacuum foam, plus a blueprint to follow. This feels effortless. You just lie in the bed, it hums with energy, and your body repairs itself rapidly, reversing damage without scars or pain. As we stand on the threshold of this profound discovery, mastering quantum foam opens the door to nature's ultimate energy reservoir. An infinite expanse of virtual particles and zero-point fluctuations that permeates every inch of our reality. By learning how to draw on and harmonize with this eternal source, we gain the ability to command perfect instantaneous regeneration. This isn't a pipe dream or hopium, it's quantum physics. The deep state has known about it a very long time. Personally, I was first introduced to quantum energy over 20 years ago, but it was then and remains today, officially, fringe, or unproven theories. But there's declassified government documents showing that the government confirmed the very concepts that remain fringe or unproven today. And of course, I have linked the document in the description of the video for your review. So this instant regeneration manifests as cells realigning in moments, tissues rebuilding without scar, and the entire body restoring to its original divine blueprint. The time frame? It's no longer science fiction, guys, but nobody has a date. I want you to consider this. It's believed that the plan to unseat the satanic elite power structure began when John Kennedy Jr. declared, I will expose my father's killers no matter who they are, even if I have to bring down the whole government. Many maintain that the plan became focused sometime before the launch of George magazine in 1995. While this statement is officially unconfirmed, it's exactly what we see happening today with the government corruption unraveling. And believe me, you haven't seen anything yet about the Epstein and trafficking issue. It's going to take government corruption to a new level if all comes out. So this operation didn't just start. It hasn't been an easy fight, but when the President of the United States begins talking about Space Command and hinting about medbeds, you know we're in for a wild future. We're on the precipice of the next evolution of human potential. The cat is out of the bag. The evil ones can't contain it anymore. But what's more important is that we have an Earth Alliance that has been working very hard to expose, prosecute, and neutralize the ones that have suppressed this technology. We're soon to reach a time when healing becomes as effortless as thought, and the limitations of age, injury, and disease dissolve into the endless creative power that created the universe itself. The quantum foam has always been there waiting. Now we're finally ready to listen, to resonate, and to become whole.